A hundred years ago, we started putting batteries on cars, but the basic structure of the battery hasn't really changed much in 30 years. We're trying to add some intelligence through control of how you use that battery. We try and come up with physics-based models, so understanding the material properties, where the heat's being generated, and then how that heat is being taken out of the battery. We have the ability to connect these batteries to an electric load or a power supply, which can simulate vehicle drive cycles. So we can actually hook up single cells and, and small three or five cell modules to our electric cycler next door, and we can say, okay, we want to simulate this vehicle going through a New York City drive cycle. This gives us a way to actually both calibrate the models that we're developing and validate them in fairly real-world uh, conditions. So these cells here are power cells uh, out of a hybrid electric vehicle. Part of the project that uh, we're working on uh, in collaboration with Ford and uh, General Electric is to develop some advanced sensors to put in these battery packs. So this is a three-year project to develop very thin film temperature and strain sensors that could actually be put into the battery pack uh, at different locations to monitor at what rate all the cells are degrading and understand actions we can take to prolong the life of the pack. So we've got a couple of these temperature sensors here that are actually measuring the battery temperature. So when the, when the battery here is actually placed uh, in this bus bar, so you can see here the battery temperature is actually measured just right here on the top. This is the, the temperature sensor and it's just in contact uh, with one point on the top of the battery. So this single measurement location can only give you so much information about the battery. And in fact, we're not even measuring every battery temperature because these sensors cost a dollar a piece to put inside the battery. That directly correlates to the cost of the final vehicle. Now, the manufacturers come back to us and said, you know, we only want to use five sensors. Do we have a, an argument for why they should add that sixth sensor based on what the temperature distribution looks like over you know, the, the use of the battery? Our project end goal for this is to actually take this battery pack, re-instrument some of the cells in the battery pack, put it back together, and actually put it in a vehicle, try out some of the algorithms that we're developing. If we can come up with some models that really tell us these are the key parameters in the system that we really need to be able to monitor and control in order to increase the reliability, then that's something that can enhance, uh, I think, the, the life of this uh, battery in a vehicle application. So what we have achieved here is colored solar cells. You know, the red stripes, the blue background, they are actually working solar cells. You want this material, semiconductor material, to absorb all the light.